Are you feeling stressed out and tired from the way of the world? Like perhaps your cat is acting weird? Whatever life's throwing your way, I got the solution. It's gonna chill you out and make you feel so much better. I know because I've already tried it. And it's completely legal. It's not pot. The vegan CBD gummy brand that took the internet by storm last year. Still to this day, there's a huge cult following, but they've been out of stock for a long time. And now they're back from outer space. And they've got a bunch of funky new flavors to try out. I've got three of them here. Let's take a test while I tell you all about the CBD experience and give you a review of these cool flavors. Do you hate feeling anxious and sad? Then stay tuned, because we've got a chewy treat that will help. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for another review of Not Pot CBD Gummies. This time, it's the new flavor edition, baby. Plus new shapes, plus other things to talk about. You don't even know what's up. I'm juggling like a professional circus clown. Before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see even more installments of trying Instagram products. This is the playlist where we take home the things you see heavily advertised on your Instagram feed and see if they really work. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right down there. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload at least two new ones every week. We've been getting some new subscribers joining the Nick D crew and it makes me so happy and excited. I would love to get to 10K, so like 10,000 subscribers before like the end of the year. If that could happen, it would be great. Anyway, I'm home on a Thursday right now because thanks coronavirus, my office closed down. Everybody was sent home. We're working remote for like the foreseeable future. So. That's crazy. This is wild times, but I've got my Touchland hand sanitizer. Anyway, we've got three flavors of gummies to try here, but maybe I'll just give you the high level of what is up with Not Pot gummies. Like I said, they're vegan. They come in this cute packaging with like these stickers all around, and they talk about how they're all natural. They don't have any bad ingredients in there. They're lab tested, made in the USA, and they do not get you high. They just work by supporting your endocannabinoid system. I think I'm saying that right, which helps control things like stress levels or, and other bodily things. Like CBD is good for supposedly a lot of different health benefits that are still kind of being tested and discovered and researched right now. These ones have 10 milligrams of hemp extract per gummy and 100 milligrams of L-theanine. L-theanine is another supplement that I've taken in the past which actually also helps promote a calming effect. So they've got a couple ingredients in here that are supposed to make you feel ooh so happy, so happy, so calm. I feel like I'm such an anxious person that like even when someone's like this will calm you down they really mean this will bring you still above average get over it that's what they say to me everyone even doctors I also love not pot because as like a philanthropic venture they try to destigmatize hemp and fight against criminal injustice like nonviolent drug offenders getting long sentences so that's why the brand really stuck with me the original not pot you can see the video I'll put it there but all of the gummies were these bear shapes like little white creamy colored bears and they only had one flavor strawberry and then not pot they went out of stock for like several months and they they sent an email explaining why it was because of supply chain problems they couldn't get a distributor or a manufacturer I mean to get them like a reliable source so they finally scaled up and found like a really great manufacturer who was able to give them a new custom shape and all these fun funky flavors such as watermelon ripe and juicy blue raspberry nostalgic slushy pineapple tropical vacation doo -doo -doo -doo. green apple crisp and sweet tart Great, grown up grape jelly. People snap this stuff up really fast. I had to sign up for their text message alerts to get notified when these came in and went and bought them right away. They are $39.99 per bottle, USD, so not inexpensive. However, I've got some sold out flavors, you guys. I picked up the blue raspberry first because I was like, ooh, nostalgic slushy. I want that. And then I, like a few minutes went by and I was like, oh, they're all gonna sell out. I should get a few more flavors to try with you guys. So I went back on and I got the watermelon, which is another sold out flavor. Hi. And then pineapple. I love pineapple and I love tropical flavored things. So this was right up my alley. This was the one that's not sold out. These two are right now, but go ahead. I'll put a link to all of it in the description below. Okay. I think I'm going to try two flavors now and then give it a few hours and come back and try the third one with you. Just because I feel like if I take three CBD gummies, I'll get drowsy. Um, but I'm definitely in the zone 
alone to feel some relief from my anxiety because my first round of meetings today via teleconferencing. I always get nervous before meetings. I don't know why. So let's start. I feel like I want to start with a blue slushy. I would normally save my exci most excited one for last, but in this case, I'm going to try it for first just because I want to. So I wonder how the texture and the overall quality of the product will feel compared to the previous formula. Let's open her up. Push down to twist. Ooh. They look really big and dark in the bottle. Ah. Oh, they smell so good. Ah, oh, it's like a blue slushy, like an icy you would get at the corner store when you're a kid. So good. I love the smell. Suggested use. Take one gummy per day and give yourself a hug. I never listen to things, so I always do like... These are really delicious gummies, so I, I remember my last bottle, I would have like two or three a day. Sorry. Like in the morning and before bed. Alrighty, here's the gummy itself. This version has a much smoother texture than the previous one, which had almost like a sugary texture to it. These are so cute. They're like little coin shapes. They have the Not Pot logo right on the front. I will say that these are much oilier to the touch than the previous version. The gummy bears were also oiled like a lot of gummies are. You either sand them with sugar or you oil them so that they don't stick together in the jar. Uh, maybe these just don't absorb as much oil as the other ones. It's like a vegetable oil usually. Let's see. Sunflower oil. That's cute. Healthy. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right, let's try it out. There you go. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's a delicious gummy. To me, it tastes like the blue dum dums you would get at the bank, and it's really a nice, delicious candy flavor. You do get that hemp taste at the tail end of it, but they've really flavored this in a way because some hemp, like or CBD products, you eat them and it tastes like hemp. It tastes like leaves, earthy, but what I love is that they make the initial like chewing and swallowing experience so sweet and satisfying that you really don't mind it at all. Yes, definitely I give a thumbs up to the blue raspberry. These are great. Now I think we should go to watermelon, which is supposed to taste ripe and juicy. Ripe and juicy. Why can't I open anything? Ugh, ow, my teeth. I really have to stop doing that with my teeth because it's starting to hurt as I get closer to 30. My teeth are like, maybe don't use this as a socket wrench just because you feel like it. Respect us, we're bones. Anyway, let's open her up. This is the juicy watermelon flavor. Mmm, that smells good. It's familiar to me. Mmm, oh, it kind of smells like strawberry now and later. Do you know what now and laters are? Are they in every country? Please let me know in the comments. I love now and laters. And speaking of hurting your teeth, they're so hard to chew. Not like these though. Let's look at them in the container. Ooh, those look even prettier than the blue because you can actually see the color. I'm not sure if they roll around on each other as delightfully as the little bears did, but does that really matter? We've got new flavors. It's up to you though. If you love gummy bears, just eat some gummy bears. Let's fish one out. There's the watermelon. Again, a little bit of oil on the surface. Surface, but we know that's sunflower oil. Smells so good. Got the Not Pot logo. So cute. Let's taste her for fun, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yum. Mmm. Very pleasant, juicy flavor. Really similar to some watermelon candies you might have had in the past. Like now and laters. Yeah, I'm pretty spot on with my taste comparisons. I think that's why I'm so successful at chewing and swallowing. Because I know what things taste like. <gasps> Okay, so like I said, we've got a pineapple gummy to taste, but I'm gonna let the effects of these kind of sink in a little bit so I can report back to you and let you know if the CBD relaxing component of uh, the new Not Pop formula, I'll let you know if that if it's uh, just as effective as the old formula. God, I cannot get through a sentence today without a whole bunch of drama. Okay, cool, I'll be back in like three hours. I'm gonna do some work. I'm interrupting our CBD experiment to show you that it's raining. Can you see? That's so magical. Can you tell even? I guess it's hard to see the rain on the camera, but it's raining. Oh, hello. Tell me your feelings quantities. What are your emotional levels? Let's get into it. It is 11.30, so I took the first gummy at like 9, 8.39. And yeah, I've been feeling really great. If you listen, can you hear how much it's raining? It's really hot. I don't know why I have to prove to you that it's raining, but let's just look. See, <laughs> that's rain. 
I just love a rainy day in LA. So I don't know if that's what's getting me into the calm, chill mood, or if I'm being helped by the CBD and L-theanine inside of these Not Pot gummies, which, yeah, I'm feeling really relaxed. And I'll be honest with you, I was kind of in a weird mood this morning for, you know, with this outbreak and everyone going remote at work. It's like a lot to think about, but um, I'm definitely feeling more chill and at ease. So we started with the blue slushy because it was the one I was most excited for. Oh, use my teeth again. Then I went to the watermelon because I didn't have a strong feeling about it. I just thought it would be popular. And now we're going to the one that I'm most interested in because it's the pineapple tropical one. And I love tropical things usually. So I hope that this lives up to my high standards of tropical vacations in my mouth. Give my mouth a vacation, baby. Pineapple, let's open her. I wanna smell the way you smell. I wanna smell the way that you smell. Mmm, that's a very fresh pineapple fragrance. I mean, like, it kind of smells like the pineapple lifesavers, the clear slash yellowy clear ones. I love those, by the way. It smells a lot like that. And that doesn't smell unlike pineapple juice. You know, it smells pretty close. Let's get one out of the box. Ooh, these are a lot drier. I love that. For some reason, these pineapple ones are not nearly as oily as those other ones that I used. I don't know if that's because of how this flavor kind of settles or Oh, they are kind of sticking together a little bit, so maybe they just didn't get as much oil coating there. They are a little stickier. That's fine. Because again, it's just a vegan gummy. You don't need it to be perfect. Besides, I would rather these things just be in stock more often than like be those gummy bear shapes. Ooh, so squishy. See? She's pineapple. Uh, let's eat her. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. That's giving me everything I need. Mmm. Mmm. Pineapple. Fresh, tropical, beach, waves, hammock, wind blowing, sun in my eyes, sand between my toes, waves splashing onto kids and whatever, seagulls pecking out your eyeballs, the whole thing. I love these. These are a standout favorite for me. The pineapple is lit. Definitely a surprise. I would say the pineapple over the blue raspberry for sure for me. Although it was delicious as well. Just like this is one of my favorite flavors. You know what I'm saying? The watermelon was really great too. If you're into that now and later candy, then you would love this. It kind of feels like you can't go wrong if you just choose the flavor that you're most attracted to. Like if you traditionally love blue raspberry things, Things, go for the blue raspberry. If you love watermelon candy, go for the watermelon. If you're a pineapple head, what's that from? If you're into pineapple, then go for the pineapple. Follow your heart is what I'm saying. If you're not gonna buy all three to five flavors like I did, which you can do because, you know, one bottle lasts 30 days. So I'm pretty much stocked up for the rest of the quarter. That's not true because I eat like three a day, one month. But if you just take one a day like you're suggested to, then maybe it'll be different. And if you just love the branding and having a cute supplement that you can take every morning and enjoy, then this is gonna be fun for you. That's why I like it. I'm not saying this is the best CBD in the world, because I haven't tried that many of them, but I definitely notice a calming effect on these things, and I love following their Instagram, and I love these new flavors, so I'm here for it. If you guys want to check out Not Pot, I'll put the links in the description below. Those are affiliate links, so if you make a purchase, I will receive a commission. What do you think of CBD products or the Not Pot brand in general? Would you try this Instagram product? Let me know in the comments below. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more episodes of trying Instagram products. What should I review? And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button right down here. I would really love to have you join us for two new videos every week. So click subscribe, turn on notifications if you don't want to miss a single thing. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you for getting so chill and so relaxed with me today that nothing even matters. You guys are all the greatest. I will see you next time.